Hello and welcome to reading vlog number three. Um, I already know this current week, the first week of the vlog, I might not be able to read very much, but I will take you through the first, the books that I am currently reading, um, which is This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. And I am a good amount into that sort of. I'm really enjoying it. I just have to find the time. And then for my own book club, I'm reading Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen, um, which I am really, really enjoying. I just have to try and find a bit of time this week. I know I'm going to be super busy because I have a big test coming up on Thursday, so like all my time will be dedicated to studying for that. Um, but this weekend, once that's over, I really want to have just like a readathon sort of weekend. So hopefully that'll be in this vlog. Um, but yeah, I don't know what my reads are going to be after that. I think if I finish those this weekend, I think I'm going to pick up um, A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness. But we will see because I am a really big mood reader and it'll just be what I feel like picking up when I finish the other two. Hello, it's actually still Monday, but I do have a little bit of an update. I'm reading Harvest of an Empire by Juan Gonzalez. As you can see, it's a rental book. It's for one of my classes. Um, but since I, we are reading it like chapter by chapter, I do have it on my Goodreads, so I thought why not throw it in here for some content. Um, I'm only on chapter two. It is a history book, so it's definitely pretty detailed and dense, but it's readable and, I mean, pretty interesting. A lot of it is history I've never learned before. So yeah, I will keep you updated on this because I'm sure it's really enthralling material, but I mean, I'll have to read it, so might as well get a good reads book out of it. Hello, I am doing a little update. I finally taken my big exam, so I'm hoping some time will finally free up. I today at lunch, I think it's gonna be the first time I have any free time to do anything in the last three weeks. Um, so I'm gonna continue reading this Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. I'm not very far in, and I want to finish it in the next week or so. Um, so I think I'm gonna focus on this one today rather than Sense and Sensibility, just because I want a bit of a lighter, quicker read from a very tired brain. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I I don't have a whole lot of free time because I do still have three more classes today but I have a bit of time at lunch and a bit of time in between classes that I'm just going to read this and just relax so I will update you more later. Hello a little reading update for Saturday. Um, I did a little bit of reading this last night um, but I'm actually going to the doctor right now because I think I have pink eye so I will have some more time to read while waiting um, but yeah I will update later. Um, I haven't gotten super far I'm still like 80 pages in but I really am hoping to finish this one up soon. So I got a package for book mail today so I thought I would open it on here real quick. I got The Lost Queen by Signe Pike which is a sort of Merlin, Arthur, that sort of stuff inspired story and I am so excited. Like the little snippet on the front says Outlander meets Camelot. So like you really, I feel like you can't get better than that. Um, I'm so, so excited to try this out. It's a new release. Um, I definitely, I'm going to pick it up pretty soon, so you'll probably see it in maybe the next reading vlog or so. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited to try it. An update for Wednesday the 19th. I think 18th or 19th, whatever. Um, but I finally have something like worth updating. I am about 250 pages into this Savage Song and I am loving it. I'm like on the edge of my seat and I just want to keep reading, but you know, school. Um, and then I'm actually about halfway done with uh, The Witch Hunter as well. And I'm really enjoying that audiobook. I wish I had like from the very beginning maybe put all of my attention to it because I think it really deserves it. I think it's a really good story um, and I've just been sort of half listening to it sometimes and I think I've missed out on some good moments but I'm still excited to finish it. I do really like it. I might one day pick up a physical copy and reread it that way because I really do like it. Hello, so another reading update. It is Thursday now and I've actually made some pretty good strides in this Savage Song. I am like page 300 or so. Um, and I think it's like 450 pages, so I'm hoping to maybe finish today. If not, I will definitely finish tomorrow. Um, that was one of my reading goals this week. I wanted to finish this Savage Song, and I wanted to finish the audiobook I'm listening to, which is The Witch Hunter. And I'm close to done with that one too. I have maybe about two hours left, um, and so I think I can definitely do that this weekend, finish that up. 
and my other goal was to make some strides in Sense and Sensibility, which I have not picked up yet this week. But after I finish this set of this savage song i'm gonna try and finish that up or at least get closer to the end um i need to finish that by the end of september because it is the september um book club book of the month for my jane austen book club um so i definitely need to get on that it's been a busy month another update for thursday it's thursday i only have probably about 70 pages left in this savage song and I had every intention to finish it tonight. And then my lab class ran over by like an hour and 15 minutes. And now it's 10.30 and I still need to eat dinner. So it's not gonna happen tonight. I'm too tired. I'm like so mentally ex exhausted from the day. So I'm just going to eat, watch some Boy Meets World, and I will definitely finish it tomorrow night. Hello, so another reading update for Friday. It is only, seven o'clock i just got back from the gym and then i went and grabbed some dinner and i actually have the rest of the night with no homework for once um so i am going to read all night i'm currently gonna watch the boy meets world while i eat dinner but then i'm going to read hopefully finish up it i know i'll at least finish this savage song i'll try and finish witch hunter we'll see um, but yeah, it's so nice to have a night off, so I will update as I read. So it is Friday night still, and I left the book over here, but I just finished this savage song, and oh my god, I loved it. It was so well written. The characters were absolutely fantastic. August is definitely my favorite, and like he's made it to like one of my favorite book characters of all time kind of list. Um, I thought it was just so fantastic. The cliffhanger though, really, I gotta get to the second one soon. Um, I believe it's going to be the October book club of the month, um, so I'm going to read it pretty soon. Um, but yeah, I love it. I want to read everything Victoria Schwab has ever written, which I believe is quite a few books, so I've got some, <laughs> I got some stuff to catch up on. But I really, really loved it. I love her writing. I literally, I just, yeah, I loved it. So that's my really thoughtful review. I just am so amazed by it. I think it was so fantastic. Now I have to decide on what to read next and I'm sitting here looking at my bookshelf and I have no idea. I made like a fall TBR but I don't know if I'm in the mood for any of the books on that TBR. Um, so I'm gonna take a look and try and make a decision and pick one out and I'll get right back to you. So an update as to what book I want to read next. Um, the update is I have no idea. I just, like I know I want to read, but I'm stuck on what to read. This is the pile I have picked out as interest. So I'm going to do what my friend said earlier today. She said um, once her roommate uh, was trying to help her pick out a book and she said put them in height order and then pick the one in the middle. So I'm gonna do that because uh, I literally cannot choose. I have a lot of first to series and I don't know which series I want to start. So I'm just gonna put it in order and see what's in the middle. The middle is Passenger by Alexander Bracken. So that's my next read because I know what I'm letting I'm letting fate take this one. It's not really fate it was math but yeah, I, I've had this one on my shelf for a really long time, actually, so I, would, I look forward to reading this. And I know there is a sequel to this one. I believe it's just a duology. So if you like this one, I will pick up the sequel. Hello, an update for Saturday morning. Um, I didn't read much more last night. I just got super tired and went to bed. Um, but now I am going to the store so um i'm going to finish up the witch hunter audiobook hopefully i'm at least going to listen to it while i do my errands um but yeah i'm hoping to finish that i think i have maybe an hour or two left i'm not entirely sure but i'm really excited to finish and see how the story ends because while i haven't been able to 100 percent focus on it sometimes um i am really enjoying it i do think one day we'll pick it up in paper copy and really focus and read it 
Um, but yeah, I am really enjoying it anyways through audiobook and I can't wait to finish. Reading update, it's just a couple hours later, it's almost noon or so, and I finished listening to The Witch Hunter by Virginia Baker, and I really, really enjoyed it. I do think there was some more room for more development of the characters within this first one, but there is a second one, so I definitely think there's a chance for that to change within the span of the series. I really enjoyed the world building and the and like the conflict in this world. I think it was super interesting um, and I really do like the main character. She definitely has some flaws and I'm not sure if it's flaws in writing or just in like the way the character is built but I do still really like her and I really enjoyed the story overall and I definitely think I'm going to be picking up the second one. I'll probably actually l listen to the second one too because that's just easiest for me um, and I can rent the audiobook from the library. So yeah, I'm probably going to do that sometime next month maybe? We'll, we'll find out in a reading book. But yeah, I ended up giving it a 4 out of 5 stars. Really enjoyed it overall. And now I'm on to go read some more of Sense and Sensibility. Hello, so this isn't actually a reading update, but is a bit of an update before I start reading. Um, I have a little bit of a book haul, so I actually won a giveaway today from Tosh Opolis, uh, a book, the booktuber. I got The Forest Queen by Betsy Cornwall. It's this. I don't know if my camera will focus on this, but it's this book, and I'm so excited to get that. It looks really cool, and I'm just so excited that I won it from her. And I also went to Barnes & Noble tonight because I went to go see a movie and turns out the movie wasn't playing tonight and so we just went to Barnes and Noble and first I got this bookmark and it says may the road rise up to meet you and may the wind be always at your back and like this was definitely an impulse buy but I just think it is so beautiful and it's Irish even though I'm wearing a Scotland sweater um, and then I got Victoria by Daisy Goodwin that was in the bargain book section I have really wanted to read this and I really want to watch the show, so I picked up the book, and I'm super excited. And then I got Our Dark Duet by Victoria Schwab, because I need the sequel after finishing this Savage song last night, and I cannot wait to pick it up. And my roommate would like to share what she got. <laughs> <laughs> I got The Red Queen, which is featured on your bookcase somewhere. I it's actually at home, but... <laughs> I'm very excited to read this. Then I also got Stephen King's Carrie for Spooky mm -hmm. Time, as well as the same <laughs> bookmark slash ruler. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> okay. I'm excited. I want to read Carrie too. Yeah. Mm. Hello. So I just wanted to close out this reading vlog. I'm still reading Sense and Sensibility. I haven't started Passenger yet, um, and I am listening to Night by... I can't think of the author's name. I don't know if I've said I'm listening tonight, but I am. I think I have like two hours left. It's a super short audio book because it's a really short book. Um, but yeah, I'm going to continue on with those today and I will finish those hopefully on the next reading vlog. But I'm going to close this one out so I can go ahead and edit it. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I upload every Sunday reading vlogs and a variety of other videos. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!